Hi everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a project with my 3-axis welding clamp. The video also includes the steps I took in creating this small table. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Comments are welcome, and have a look at the section below. This is where I add extra details for the video. Here we go. I have nine pieces of the small ones here. Uh, there's one that needs a little bit more grinding there. This one here. And I have my four legs. Wow. Considering I marked and cut all four of them differently, look at that dead on. I'll give you a little bit better perspective. As you can see, there's some burring that I have to remove. But I'll do that with uh, my die grinder to get inside there, just clean it up so it's not catching on anything. And these four pieces here, I cut, uh, these are two by two by one eighth inch. And basically what these are for is to sit on the top. What this is going to do is, this is on the inside of the table here, and put a hole in here, and then this will attach whatever top that I'm going to put onto it. So, I'm ready to start putting things together. Now it's just a matter of laying this stuff up, tacking it, welding it, painting it, and putting a plate on it. I got a really cool tool. Let me just go show you. You've seen these on various uh, other websites and whatnot. It's a three axis clamp. What this will allow me to do is set all of this up and pretty much almost forget about any setup problems, right? So once I have this in place, here, let me do three more. One, two, three. Over on this side. And this is why we have clamps. Kind of getting ahead of myself here because this is not a setup. I'm just showing you my fancy new toy. You're asking why am I doing the clamping when I have a clamp here? Well, I found that the setup part of it is much easier if I take the time. The whole point of this clamp, clamp, it's in. It's almost where I want it to be, but now, as you can see, this won't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two plates in here. We're almost where we can tighten this thing up, right? Still loose. There, now she's in. She's clicked into here, and it's getting a little tighter, which is nice. Now this is when the clamps can come off, right? Perfect. Now, the nice thing about this is, is I can still see, I'll, I'll put, pick it up a bit, I can still see in here for my welds, right? So I can still get a tack on both sides. But as you can see, this thing will set up really, really quickly. And the nice thing about this is, is this arm swings out of the way so that all four of these legs can be created this, the same way. I have checked all four squares on this and believe it or not this thing is dead on so the machining on this is really well done so I know that all three axes are all equal and they are square and true so what I've done is I have created my lines you can see where so I've got all this ready to go right so now all we have to do is set up this to accommodate these two oops sorry that's going to be top and top so we have to do the this one first and then slide that in the vise and do that one next right I'll show you.
having two of these, jostling two of these, this is a, quite the counterweight on this, is pretty difficult. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side at a time, do both tacks, and then flip it around and do the other one. C, hopefully, is that I've had to shim some things up, make sure that I've got my proper gap in between the two of them. And this one's loose, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Actually, what I wanna do is make sure that that is in good placing. How am I gonna do that? I think I'm gonna put it back on it. There we go. Now that's not gonna move. Now that I have my magnet in behind it, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm, I can actually see down from the top. So I'm lining these two up and that looks good right there. Looks good. So just in case you guys were wondering, between setups is about I don't know, but maybe about 10 minutes, that's all it is. Um, I know this video is gonna make it look like it's uh, a lot larger, but uh, it's only about 10 minutes. Let's do a quick tack on this. Check my measurements here. I'm right on my line. So what I have right now is the three legs and it's flush on this axis here. So when this was welded, it was flush. Now it's, that was my setup. This is perpendicular to the clamp. So technically speaking, I should be able to level this guy up. And there it is. She's on its line. This line is set up exactly where it needs to be, which is perfect and it makes sense because if this was welded on this plane, then this plane should also be set up easily. So I should be able to take it apart, put it back together again, and I find my, my setup line again. Pull that back. Should just slide right out. It does. So I have all of my four legs together i'm sitting solid and the only one left is this guy right here <laughs> strongest table you'll ever find so here we are uh, we're all set up here uh welded up ready to go Got the internal beads done, as you can see. Um, and the only thing that we have to weld yet is just the tops. We need to put a little hole in here. I think a number eight or a number 10 screw. I don't know which one I have, but that's all it needs. And we'll just put these four up on top like so. We'll turn the table upside down again and then weld these on. Okay, so here we are with the almost finished table. In reality, it's uh, ready for paint, but we need to um, uh, just clean this guy up a little bit, prep it for paint with one of these guys. They're the roll locks. And that's all it is, is a, um, some sort of an abrasive on a small plastic. And you twist it on, and you of course you just put it into a, a die grinder. On the bottom, you can see this um, just from the cuts, from the original cuts. This just needs to be um, cleaned up a bit. It just you can see the burr right here and here. All I want to do is I just want to clean that up, and it's just a, a quick and easy way of doing it with this. <laughs> Thank you. 
It uh, turns out really nice and shiny, but there is, you have to put an oil into your, your pneumatic uh, tools, right? And because of that, it puts an oil, a drop or two, on this piece. Well, there's a, as a part to prepping this, not only do I need to scour it with these pads, and I can do it by hand, right? But the second part is degrease it. And the way I do that is with acetone. Pretty good soaking. And just wipe it down. Oh, yeah. Just takes it right off and evaporates immediately. So this is a great step. And all done and dry. I'd imagine that the evaporation process was a little bit heavier because of the um, the sunlight. I'm obviously in the sun, you can see the shadow, but uh, yeah, it is clean. <laughs> so it's very nice to see and it's ready for paint. As you can see, I've got the uh, board cut and uh, it's not attached yet. And I'm just going to give it a quick sand. And then once that's done, I'll put a little bit of uh, paint on it. I'm going to use a diluted paint, um, half water, half paint. And hopefully I get that sort of stain look to it when I wipe it on and wipe it off with a cloth. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below. And remember, thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. Nice ones anyways. The other ones, well, you can keep them to yourself.